the doweling jig of the company Wolfcraft is delivered pre-assembled in a practical transparent package and is therefore directly ready for use. It is a true all-rounder and apart from doweling of corner connections, T-butt connections and edge-to-edge -edge connections, it can also be used for the drilling of exact rows of bores with a bore pitch of 32 mm. Additionally, the aluminum section can be used as drawing and cutting ruler or as guide for the jigsaw, circular saw or the router. But just have a look how easy it is to work with the doweling jig. Before you start doweling, you should mark all board edges with a so-called carpenter triangle. That will help you later to apply the doweling jig at the right edge. Afterwards, please place a doweling jig centrically on the board to determine the positions of the side stops. Please engage the stops of the same and next possible drill holes to the board and fix the screws. Please adjust afterwards the two angle fences to the measurement which is nearest to the thickness of the board. For example, for wood thickness of 19 mm, just set the stops to 20. Please choose afterwards the drilling bush suitable to the dowel. It is inserted in the sliding drill head from below and subsequently put in the groove of the aluminium section. So that you do not drill too deep later, you should limit the drilling depth with a depth stop. As we need in most cases two different drill depths, a second drill with a depth stop will be a great help. To make a corner joint, please clamp a cover top or bottom in your workbench at first. Afterwards, lay the doweling jig on the board edge and pay attention that the side stop abut against the board edge with the carpenter triangle. At the end, we fasten the doweling jig with two one-hand clamps. Start with the first drilling and bear in mind the corresponding number on the guide rail. Please pay attention that you always start at this place with the dowel holes. Thereafter, just engage the sliding drill head on every third drilling Fasten it and drill with a 10 mm drill a dowel hole. You also have to drill dowel holes in the opposite edge. For this the board is just turned for 180 degrees and again fixed. Following, apply the doweling jig and pay attention that the side stop again abuts against the edge with the carpenter triangle. This time Make the first drilling from the other side of the doweling jig, but please take care that the sliding drill head engage in the same number. Afterwards, as supplied before, engage the sliding drill head at every third drilling, fasten it with the knurled screw and drill another dowel hole. The dowel holes in the side walls will only be drilled 12 mm deep, therefore please change at first the drill. Following, lay the doweling jig flat on the side wall and slide it again with one of the stops against the board edge with the carpenter triangle. Starting from the marked edge, please drill in every third raster a dowel hole. Please take care that the sliding drill head engaged in the same drillings as at top and bottom. For this, the drillings are numbered on the aluminium section. Please turn the side wall for 180 degrees so that you can drill the opposite dowel holes. Finally, apply the doweling jig again flat and push the side stop against the marked edge of the board. Starting from this edge, once again four dowel holes will be drilled. Please take also here care that you use the same drillings or raster.
For example, if you like to dowel a hard intermediate bottom, you have to draw the position on the sidewall first and then remove the two angle fences. Afterwards, align the doweling jig with the center line to the pencil line. Finally, fix the whole assembly with two clamps and now the dowel holes can be drilled. Also here, the precise channel separations of the dowels make a perfect connection. But you can also make in the twinkle of an eye extremely stable face joints with a doweling jig. For this, the two board edges are drilled one after the other with the same setting. Due to the high precision of the drill holes, the boards fit together to 100%. A series of holes at pitch 32mm, as you can find over and over again at the construction of furniture, can also be made with the doweling jig. Just replace the present drill bush with a 5mm bush to drill the row of holes. Following, you position the doweling jig with the leveled off side flush with the edge of the wood and fix it again with two one-hand clamps. Now you can easily and absolutely precisely slide hole for hole with a sliding drill head. Unfasten the two clamps and enjoy the accurate and neat series of holes. If all dowel holes and series of holes are drilled, the cabinet can be glued. For this, apply glue into the dowel holes of the side walls and then hammer in the dowel. After that, also apply glue in the holes of the top and bottom. Then fit all wood pieces together. At the end, fix the hole for approximate 1 or 2 hours with one hand clamps until the glue has set. If the cabinet should have a cabinet door, you can fasten the mounting plate of the concealed hinge directly into the series of holes. Also shelf supports for variable intermediate bottoms can be inserted. Finally, the cabinet door is just engaged into the mounting plate. No matter if you want to make corner joints, T-joints, edge-to-edge joints or a series of holes or if you just need a high quality and precise drawing rule for your tool. The Dowling Jig by Wolfcraft is the ideal aid for all your projects and therefore it should not be missing in any workshop.